Well, well, look who we have here. Heard you were sent off to Nalpina. And I got out of there as fast as I could. But it was all worth it, Dallin. Here, look at this. My, 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 quite a treasure you've got there. Well, you know, I couldn't have done it without your help. So, there is more to this gutter churl than first meets the eye. Van Ivanaren, a simple favor to beg of you. I was going to ask that kites to go, but I should think that you ought to do. No. No, I think you're just the one. There's a fellow by the name of Azalas, and I need you to bring this sword to him. That's... that's a sword of the old order. Speak my name when you arrive. That should be enough to get you in to see him. I've made a note on your map showing you where he can be found. Mind you, you are to deliver the sword to him personally. I will. And so it is done. But will it be enough to remind him of what the Order once meant? What do you make of Andor's proclamation? Are you suggesting they fooled even the Marquis? What if a judge killed the king, not the captain? That would explain everything, wouldn't it? In that case, the captain would be brother to a judge. How are we to trust such a man? Huh? Now there is the Bosch that I remember. Then will you fight again at my side? 
His word alone convinces me of nothing. I'd take his word over that of a mouthpiece Marquis. Then you name Rex liar with him. My brother was no liar! <sighs> Just the opposite. Rex was the witness they needed. They had to make it appear as if I killed the king. Rex bears no blame. The fates have willed it. So this is Rex's brother. Ah. Your words may convince a child such as this, but they weigh far too lightly on the scales for my taste. Our paths will remain separate. Do you not think Amalia worth saving? I hold men's lives in my hands. I must see foes in every shadow. The night we moved against Vane, he knew. I will not chance such disadvantage again. I must treat you as I would Ondor, as I would treat any of better of the Empire. Then what will you do? Hold me here in chains? <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Listen to me, Bosh. Your cage may have no bars, but it is a cage. The eyes of the Resistance watch unblinking. Let them watch. I know something of cages. That's right. Amalia's in the Resistance. Then you know her. Sorta. We met just before we got sent to Nalbana. I've known nicer people. Our paths keep crossing yours and mine. It's more than coincidence. It's annoying. I'm sorry. Allow me one last annoyance, a favor to ask. I want you to take me to both here. Even caged birds need wings. This makes us even. Even? For Nalbana. We couldn't have done it without you.
A lot of kids lost their parents in the war. Mine, mine had already died before that. The plague took them both. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. It's been five years now. After that, I live with my friend Pinello and her family. Then, then the war came. I am sorry. You don't have to keep apologizing. Really, it's all right. I know it wasn't your fault. I see that now. You didn't kill my brother. It was the Empire. My brother trusted you. And he was right. As I said, a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? What I am understanding is it took Pinello because of you. What? What about Pinello? Oh, Vaughn. They've taken Pinello. And there was a note. A note for this Balthier. Come to the Museum of Mines, it said. It's Begamnon. He was in Nalbana. If anything were to happen to that sweet child, why, I have her parents' memory to consider. You're going to go to her aid, and that's that. That's what you Sky Pirates do, isn't it? I don't respond well to orders. You do know that the Imperial fleet is massing at Bujaba. Fine, then I'll go. You at least have an airship, don't you? Just get me there, and I'll find Pinello myself. I'll join you. Huh? I have some business there as well. An audience with a Marquis, by chance? Both here. Just take us, and this is yours. The gods are toying with us. Uh, make yourselves ready. We leave soon. Right.